Mist. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Murder with Friends, the show where two friends get together and talk about the darker sides of history. I'm your host, Grace Baldridge, and joined with me today is my co-creator and producer, Amir Nakui. And today, on this episode of Murder with Friends, we're just going to be doing a Q&A. We're going to be taking some of your questions, some of your comments, recommendations, and talking about them, and talking a little bit more about uh, some of the members' content that we already have up there, Yeah. and what you guys can expect on future episodes of Murder with Friends. Cool. So you want to kick it off? Yeah, here? let's kick it off. Let's go through some comments. So I am looking at our Ed Gein video. Yeah, that we I, put I loved week. the Ed Gein episode. Yeah. That was, uh, Alonzo and Dave were just some of the best guests I think we've had on. And I loved... Uh, Definitely some of the oldest. So they brought in, I think, maybe like a more experienced perspective. Well, and also they're they're seasoned film critics, yeah. and you can't talk about the Ed Gein story without tying his involvement and inspiration to uh, filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And as film critics, they were able to bring in uh, their wealth of knowledge that I thought was so awesome to hear about. And also, um, I got to watch Psycho again, which is just, I fucking love that movie. I have to watch it again. You it's really yeah, good. you need to watch it. It's just, it's so good. It's so well done, and it's, I'm always impressed when, uh, movies, uh, older movies, their lasting impact and how they they stay good for so long. Another one of my favorites is Rear Window. Mm -hmm. um, and you can watch that movie today and you'll still be on the edge of your seat that's as if so the day it was made. Um, and that's and that's how you know that there's a, a great movie. Like that's how you know. There was this other movie that was like Psycho, you just reminded me. We saw it in film school, I don't know, maybe you've seen it. It's about this guy who kills his people, his victims, holding like a tripod with a knife on it. And it's like, it was made around the same time as Psycho. A tripod? Yeah, and then it, there's a camera and then there's also a mirror. So the people see themselves, their own faces as they die. Oh, that's terrible. And it's this classic movie that we saw in, in film school. I definitely want to watch it. You should it. see that. Anyway, I forget what it's called. I'm sorry. I'm sure someone in the comments. Yeah, someone that. let us know. What other? What else do we got? Um. So what else do we got? Let me look at. Some a lot of people are requesting a Jeffrey Dahmer episode. Yeah, I've been of noticing course. that a Jeffrey Dahmer episode, and then the other big recommendation is Carla Hamolka and Paul Bernardo. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of those. Yeah. And I just recently went back and read that story, and it's fucking nuts. It is, and I really, really want to cover it. I would say we, sh we you guys can expect us to talk about that case, um, the Ken and Barbie killer, as some people call it, probably by April, because that's um, that's such a, an interesting dynamic, and it's the the ending. I don't want to spoil it because I want you guys to watch the episode, but the the conclusion that we are living with today, with regards to that case, is bananas. Um, and it's an interesting conversation about the court system. Mm -hmm. um, and then what else do we have coming up? Columbine, we plan on doing that pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, JFK. Yeah, I really want to talk about uh, JFK with uh, my girlfriend's godfather, who um, wrote the book on uh, Earl Warren, who did the Warren Ooh. Report. Yeah. And uh, he's just a, he's a well-known uh, biographer and writer. He was a reporter, lead reporter for the LA Times. He was a lead reporter in the O.J. Simpson case. And I really want to bring him on because what I think will be interesting when we talk about JFK is that I am... Uh, I, I don't want to say I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I'm a conspiracy entertainer with, with regards to JFK. I think that there's way more than what the government gave us uh, in the Warren Report. And he uh, believes very uh, staunchly, and he's certainly done the research for it, he wrote, lit literally wrote the book on it, uh, that the Warren Report was accurate, and that um, what you sort of what you see is what you get, and that, there, that, that the evidence backs up um, the the sequence of events that the that the government said happened. Yeah. Um, so that will be a really interesting conversation about JFK. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what else do we have coming? Um, up? The Versace murders. We actually talked about this for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's super fascinating. Do you want to tease it? Yeah. So the murder is the guy who created Versace, the clothing brand. He was murdered by a serial killer completely randomly in the '90s. He just showed up at his door and killed him. Mm -hmm. And then the serial killer was caught by police and then he ended up dying, I think, in the police chase. Mm -hmm. That's also a really fascinating one. There was, uh, I really hope that whoever wrote this comment is watching this because I can't think of where this comment was. But what I love is when you guys will, will tweet at me or uh, respond in, in comments and give us a pitch for a case that we should cover. And I, I will find it when we do this episode because I really think it'd be a great for especially a campfire series. Someone said there was a case of a man in France who, uh, 
was he was a serial killer. He was a murderer. I, I'm forgetting exactly the time period, and he. Um, was hired as a private investigator by the police to solve his own murder or his own, his own crimes. It was something like that where there was sort of a case of uh, mistaken identity. He was able to conceal his identity and then he went on to solve or try and solve the case that he, the crimes that he was committing. And um, we definitely catalog all your comments so we can go back and look at these recommendations. But the best way to do it if you want to see a case covered is to write your pitch for the story. What are the themes with regards to this case, especially if it's a lesser known case? Um, it helps us if there's uh, some sort of a story, some sort of an intrigue behind it why is this uh, why should we cover why should we look into these stories yeah that would be helpful mm -hmm. yeah definitely um what was I gonna say what are we covering today well tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, there will first of all the tomorrow's episode that will air on Wednesday is already yes, up on the uh, tytnetwork.com slash join yeah so make sure to check it out we cover the Port Arthur massacre which is with super Anna fascinating super sad and also very relevant very relevant with regards to gun reform and uh, Anna Kasparian came on and that episode has been up since I think Monday yeah. uh, so if you guys are interested in getting episodes early. Also, there are a bunch of Campfire episodes that we have not yet released on YouTube. If you want to check that out, you should definitely, you know, head over. And if you don't, if you don't have, if the, if the paywall is too much, something that you can still do is tell your friends about our show um, or just subscribe and liking our videos. It's so trite and annoying to say because I know you hear this on every single YouTube video. I am aware. I watch those YouTube videos too. But uh, coming on the other side of things, it is very helpful. Whatever support you can lend us, totally. Even if it's just, we can just, do more of this and do it better. Yeah, even if it's just like a tweet. Hello, my name is blank. Yeah. I like this show, Murder with Friends. Thank you. Goodbye. Just like that. Great. It's, Would be amazing. Um, robots too, please come. <laughs> yeah, if you could just, if you could get as many of those, what are those spam bots? Yeah. And then just just spam spam them all out. I don't know if I, when at what point in time. Can I start plugging Murder with Friends on Flat Tummy T on Instagram? I'd love to find a way to do that. Who knows? Just do it. Just what do else it. do we got? Uh, so we got a comment from one of our members, Bonnie and Jeff. It would be great to hear about serial killers from other countries. I have never heard of Ed Gein, though. As usual, a very good show. Love the gentleman. They seem to have put a lot of research and thought into the show. Grace, you are my favorite female host on TYT. Keep up the great work. Someone in the comment is like, allegedly female. Allegedly. Um, I think that's a really good point. I know that in the new year, Amir and I said that we did want to cover more international stories. Uh, so that's sort of starting with the Port Arthur Massacre. And uh, also, I really want to cover Andre Chikatilo. And I know yeah. that's been requested a little bit. And that is also one of the very early test shoots that we did for Murder with Friends. And coming up, I think this is going to be members-only content, but Amir and I are going to rewatch our test Episodes that were, guys, I can't even tell you, these test episodes were so bad. The set was totally different. The guests were awesome. I was terrible. Uh, and we just didn't know what the format of the show was. Again, I think I've said this before, we kind of thought it might be a drinking show. And the way that we would bring guests on, which I don't know how we, how we <laughs> thought this was a good idea, we thought that the way to do Murder with Friends initially was bring on a guest cold. Yeah. Barely was, even tell them that the show idea, is about 100%. murder. I remember I was like, I thought this was such a good idea. I was like, if we bring them on and we don't tell them anything, it's going to be perfect. So I would bring on friends <laughs> and just be like, hey, do you want to come do this talk show with oh, me? I just think of Sarah's <laughs> yeah. Do you just want to do this talk show with me? And he'd be like, yeah, I want to help out Grace. Like, of course. Yeah. And I'd bring on dear friends of mine, some of whom had never been in front of a camera before, mm -hmm. and uh, drink. And then tell them about serial killers, and, and then and their reactions were just like, um, yeah. like they would look over to the side, like, is this like, am this I being punked right yeah. now? Because it was just straight up me reading articles and like going over case <laughs> files and like, sh oh, and then showing them photos. <laughs> you remember? I'd, like, I'd be like, and this is what a body looked like, and like show it was, and they'd be yeah. like, thank you. Yeah. Um, they're drunk. Glad that your life part. is going like really well right yeah. now, Grace. So we're probably going to do a yeah, reaction video to some of those uh, early test shoots um, on the for members. Yeah, content. so I make sure to check funny. that out. That's going to be good. And we have other extra stuff that's only for members right now too. Mm -hmm. We did we did a video on last meals that death row inmates had. Yeah, and that's only on members. In addition to a bunch of other cool stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, who, what other guests can we look forward to having in the new year? 
We're having uh, JR is coming on the show tomorrow, yeah. JR Jackson, which I think will be fun. Uh, J Light, my roommate's gonna come back. We're gonna talk about Columbine, which I think will be pretty cool. And I, I'm hoping, you know, what I would like also for the new year is that we can bring on new friends. Yeah, um, I think we, we talked about having Arden Rose on. She's been on Pop Sugar and she wants to come on. So hopefully we can put that together. Yeah, we would love to. We would love to have her on. Um, and then more campfire episodes coming up. I, I think that maybe we can hear from you guys. Uh, what do you think the next theme for a campfire episode should be? Yeah, I think, we did torture last time, and the yeah. first time, what did we do? Uh, the first time we just did interesting we just did little, stories. Yeah, it was stories. just sort of for you to meet our team of editors and for Amir and myself, which I think is yeah. really awesome because we have such a cool team. Oh, we have a promo coming out. I don't know if that's going to be coming Ooh. out today or tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not sure when that's going to air, but we shot a promo, and that's fun. Mm -hmm. And it's going to premiere on the main show today. Yeah. During breaks, and then we'll probably put it up on YouTube. My mom is going to be terrified. I can't wait to send it's it. It's so to her. good. It's so good. Yeah. So I, I guess that would be our question for you guys in the comment section below. What should be the theme of our next campfire episode? Thank you so much for your support. This show is Amir and I's baby, and we care about it so much, and we want to make it as great as it can be, and that comes from you guys helping us to make it as great as it can be and keep giving us your recommendations, whether it's by tweet or Instagram or YouTube comments or whatever you can do is always super helpful. We appreciate it so much. And yeah, I guess we'll see you with tomorrow's episode on the Port Arthur Massacre on Murder with Friends. We'll Thanks for then. watching. Bye guys. <laughs>